What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Taylor the Fiend. Let's get straight into it. You know what I really can't stand about dating at this big age of 39? Look, I'm grown. Like, I'm about to be 40 over the hill grown, right? Why are we still talking about virtue or body count? Like, that f matters. Because like it does. A woman's past matters just like a man's future matters. Shots fired! I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Like, I am dating a bunch of divorcees who cheated on their wife, who have multiple children by multiple partners, me included. That's no shame. Wait, so you're telling me that you're a single mom. You can't make this stuff up. But let's just illustrate facts. We got kids. They weren't the immaculate conception. Why are y'all acting brand new? We I are can't imagine why any man wouldn't want to be with her. <laughs> she doesn't seem masculine, combative, argumentative at all. 15 through the clearance rack of fuck love looking for a partner and you want to talk about virtue this is here's the reason though ladies from the ages of about 18 to 24 you had your shot and you blew it sorry it's just it is what it is hell i'll even give you 18 to 26 you had your chance because the same thing that you're going through now as an older woman all of us men have went through as a younger man nobody's looking at us simple as that you really want a man go out there and lower your standards Lower your standards, or get you a real young guy that just wants to blow your back out. <laughs> <laughs> and go have some fun with him. But thing is, ladies, we don't feel bad for you at all because you had your chance. At those younger years, when you were fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, you were quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, you had the highest possible chance of going out there and procuring a man, but you wasted those years being a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. Go and get a lot of mileage, go and get a lot of trauma, go and meet a lot of men. You didn't take your life serious when you were younger, when you knew you should have. And so you expect us to come in and feel bad and pick up the pieces and play another man's safe game? Nobody's trying to be your hero, honey. I can be your hero, baby. It's just a bad deal. It's like hitting on 20 on a game of blackjack. We're not doing it. We've, we've awakened. We're not doing it. Don't ever let somebody make you feel like, oh, I'm just a mom. Single mom. And that includes yourself. Don't even let yourself beat yourself up. Right. Moms have the most important job in the world. Maybe not the highest paying, but it's the most important job. So I'm out and about, looking cute, feeling milfy. She's a runner, she's a track star. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! <laughs> looking cute, who said? Just for some context, by the way, guys. This video is posted right after the video that you just saw. Just just bear that in mind, okay? I'm out and about, looking cute, feeling milky. Did she say milky? <laughs> so pasty, I thought she was Casper's cousin. Then I look in the mirror and realize I have a gray hair in the front of my head. Like I knew there was some in the back where I couldn't see them and I could pretend that they're not there, but no, this one's in the front. Brian Center, see that? Look at that. Oh my God. It's a double nostril, oh. nostril piercing, and then it looks like she has hand tats. Big no no. Oh my God. The question here is though, does yeah, that make knuckle me a tats? Uh uh. Cougar. <laughs> This woman is absolutely terrifying. I can guarantee. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I would go for that. And also, I can't even imagine why she would be single. I don't know. Maybe her attitude, the way she looks, the way she's acting. And if it doesn't look like she has a lot of tattoos otherwise, but then she has tattoos on her hands. Personally, for me, I hate tattoos on the hands. I want a woman to be able to wear a nice, elegant dress without looking like, you know, she's tatted up. Let me know what you think, Chad. Do you guys like women with tattoos? Some guys really dig it. Uh, uh, I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients. And a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents, Accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan and Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today.
um, but I don't I don't really dig it. If a girl does have tattoos, I'd rather them be tasteful. I'd rather them be in a place where you can't see them. That is kind of what I prefer, but to each his own. And they don't even realize how much they are embarrassing themselves. But speaking of embarrassing, let's continue on to the woman that I played at the start of today's episode. And boy, oh boy, is this horrendous. Let's jump in. Uh, uh, guys, we've got the, uh, the swear counter up the top here really can't stand about dating at this big age of 39. Look, I'm grown. Like, I'm about to be 40 over the hill grown, right? Why are we still talking about virtue or body count? Like, that matters. Like, Because it absolutely does. Yeah, yeah. well, your compatibility and, and the fact that the more bodies you have, the more you Frankenstein a man. Well, Jason had good pee pee, and Chris had good hair, and Mark was nice. And that's what they do. They compare their current relationship to their past one. It's like, if you make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. And that's what you women do when you have a high body count is you're comparing the next guy to the past guy in comparison is a thief of joy. Well, ladies that don't have as much experience aren't doing this comparison because they don't know. You can basically be Aladdin and they can be a Jasmine because you can show them a whole new world. A whole new world. But when they're older and they've been ran through like a set of stairs. She's a runner. She's a track star. They have more mileage than a NASCAR race. Like what am I supposed to do? How am I going to come in and be your hero, baby? I can be your hero, baby. Newsflash, you can't. It's as simple as that. So the hard truth for these ladies is you got to lower your standards. I think she looks good for 39. But the thing is, I don't think it's her aesthetic that's holding her back from getting a man. What I think it is, is I think it's her attitude. A lot of ladies, you got to realize your looks get you a ticket to the dance, but your personality and your attitude is what gets you a date afterwards. A bunch of divorcees who cheated on their wife, who have multiple children by multiple partners, me included. That's no shade, but let's just illustrate facts. We got kids. They weren't the immaculate f Is she cockeyed? Shots fired! Deception. Why are y'all acting brand new? So... She has multiple kids to multiple. That's what I'm also. Yeah, she's got multiple kids, probably multiple baby daddies. Single mom. As a man of any type of value, and chat, let me know. Would you come in and be a girl's hero, and want to pick up the pieces and play another man's safe game and raise children that aren't yours? The reason we don't do that, ladies, is because we don't have control over the legacy. We can't discipline the children. We can't teach them our ways. They're not our blood. And so it's like, I'm really coming in at a massive deficit here. And these kids are going to be more of a liability than they are an asset. For the clearance rack of fucking love looking for a partner and you want to talk about virtue. She's got to be demure. She's got to be my I'm not. I'm not. I don't fucking care. I got to act like I ain't been out here fucking when I have. If y'all don't get the fuck out of here, I'm not doing that shit. I can barely find the time to commit to a fucking date to, to, to agree to a location and show up i love it when a woman talks about her bop lore <laughs> she's been bucking she says she's been bucking she's in the pbr the uh, the pro bull rider she's been bucking boy looking like a presentable human being if the stars fall line and put us in the same place i'm supposed to hope that that statistical anomaly can reoccur enough times for me to justify sleeping with you when i already know that i want to do you know how long it's been Somebody I mean, come blow this woman's back out. Please, someone come realign her spine. I don't want to hear no more of it. It's so sad, but I feel like this is the reality for a lot of these older chicks. At least she knows. Well, maybe she doesn't know. Ladies, the older you get, the more you need to lower your standards. And this chick, I, I don't know, maybe her standards are through the roof. But I know a lot of women that are my age, and I see them on social media, and we, hell, this entire channel is pretty much dedicated to them, but usually when women get older, their standards get a lot higher, because usually with their experience, they correlate that with value, when the opposite is completely true. Your experience actually makes you less valuable in the market. But let me know, chat, who do you think in a scenario like this would be more valuable? A woman that's 35 and a virgin, or a woman that's 35 that has had multiple partners? Let me know, because they're both 35, but the thing is, at least the 35-year-old that's a virgin is not going to be comparing you to another guy. She's not going to try to Frankenstein you, and she probably doesn't have a lot of trauma. She hasn't been through the ringer, so she's probably a little bit more open to get on your page, and you can probably build a stronger bond with her. Her pair bonding is probably a lot higher. So with these older women, though, their pair bonding is so low, and their tolerance for BS is so, so low as well, because they've been ran through, and they've been treated like, you know, swamp rats. 
And, you know, fair enough. I kind of get it. But at the same time, it's not us men's fault. It's not the next guy's fault for what the last guy did to you. I gotta pretend I'm not a fuck. Oh, bitch, fuck it. He's gonna think you're all like Dating as a 30-year-old in a... Right, so before we continue on to the next clip here, this woman is just yelling that she's been with a whole bunch of different dudes. She's a runner, dude. Hey. She's a runner. She's a track star. She's proud of it. I gotta give it to her. A lot of girls won't even be admitting that they bucking, but she's bucking. But the thing is, if you got, if you got multiple kids and multiple baby daddies, you already at the low, 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 low end of the priority list for any man of value. <laughs> Men are already looking at you, being like recreational use only. Like I am not trying to do nothing serious with you. None of the other men that you gave the highest honor wanted to put up with you. So why would I want to come in and pick up the pieces and try to be somebody's hero? I ain't trying to do all that. In Australia is so hard. I lived in London for seven years. Guys would come up to you in bars, like come up to you on the street, ask for your number, like not even in a creepy, annoying way, in a way that it was like flattering or like it just is like normal human communication. Dating in Australia, not only is the dating pool so small because there's less people, I guess, the amount of effort that Australian guys put in is insane. It's just nothing. Like, They'll just, they just want to message sorry, you. sorry, but who said that you require a lot of effort? Shots fired! I mean, I'm going to keep it a buck, honey. You're not, nobody's writing home about you. You're beat at best. For months and never ask you out and never meet up. And I'm like, what's your aim here? Like, do you just want a pen pal? Do you just want a friend to message when you're bored? Like, let's no, hang they out. they want a penis pal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they, they want to polish the good old pork sword. Let's go to the fucking beach because there's beaches here. Let's go get a drink like this. You could literally just do anything. Now I just have. Well, isn't there a lot of like feminism and like this whole equality thing in Australia? I was talking to Jake from Rattlesnake TV, which, by the way, that episode will come out on Monday, this coming Monday. Um, but I was talking to him and he said, like, the feminism movement is really big in Australia and this whole equality thing. Well, the thing is, ladies, you wanted equality. Therefore, you need to approach us. Chivalry's dead. Women killed it, especially the modern women is also the feminist women. You don't want us to approach you anymore because masculinity is toxic. So if you don't want that, you can't complain about the consequences of what you actually wanted. This is what you wanted. You didn't want men to approach. So it is what it is. It's not our bad that, that that's what you asked for. But the thing is, in Australia, I've been, people are hyper compliant. Men don't push the boundary. People aren't trying to be offensive there. Like everybody's super hyper compliant. I went on the, the public transit there and they have like a public train. And like there's nobody regulating if you pay to get on and off. You just tap your phone, you get on, you get off, you tap your phone again. And I was with some guys there and I was like, does nobody regulate this? And they're like, nah, nobody regulates this. And it's like maybe, maybe once every 10 times I'm on the bus, there's somebody like checking tickets. But I'm like, what would be the worst thing that happens? you would pay four dollars i'm like <laughs> so people i'll show you're hyper compliant so it goes back to i think it's a scandinavian men the dutch going dutch is 50 50 but in those countries actually women approach the men a lot of times and then they split on the first date a lot of men don't ask women out because they think it's offensive these men have basically been neutered from the young ages of being boys in uh, primary school to think that it's offensive if you approach a woman. And so this is the result of that. These women that are mid, mad that men don't approach them. But the thing is, this is what you wanted. Oops, this is what you got. I hate to say it, but like it's really hard to feel bad for these women when they ask for this for so long and then they finally get it and now they're unhappy with the results. Let men be men. 50 guys on my Instagram in blue out. Let's go to the fucking beach because there's beaches here. Let's go get a drink. Like there's, you could literally just do anything. Now I just have like 50 guys on my Instagram. Why can't women understand also that they're just like mid? Shots fired! And like not everybody is going to be approached a ton. That's just kind of how it is. It's like, like I'm looking at her. She's, she's okay. Like I'd give her maybe a four or a five. Chat, what would you rate her? I don't know, like a four. She's okay. Like... Of course men aren't flocking towards you. You're not much to look at. In my DMs messaging me and like replying to my stories, I'm like, you're my fans. I'm not dating you. You're just a fan. We talk right. So she wants to, she wants to, and I knew that was coming. She wants to downplay these men. She wants to talk bad about them. That's why I don't feel bad, man. I don't feel bad because she said, you're my fan. Well, these are the men, this uh, life is a mirror, not a window, right? You attract what you are. So if these are the men that are giving you attention, more than, more than likely, that is your league, honey. 
So as of right now, you're shooting out of your league. I tell people this all the time. When you're in a relationship, there always has to be a cute one. In chat, let me know if you agree with this. There always has to be a cute one. When you look at a relationship, you look at two people. It's always one person that's always the better looking one of the two. And you know what I'm talking about. So ladies, you have to make a decision. And guys, you have to as well. Do you want to be the better looking one in your relationship? If you want to, great. Go get you a girl who's a four. Nice and easy. Done deal. Done deal. Nice and easy. But if you don't want to be the cute one, then you're going to have to try a little bit harder to get a girl that's hotter than you. And see, this is what a lot of women don't understand. It's like they want a guy that's six foot, six inches, six pack, mark of the beast, by the way. But they don't realize that if they do, other women want him. If he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. And the thing is, these guys are going to be the good looking ones. So why would a good looking guy want to go down and, and go with a girl that's not as good looking? Like good looking guy wants a hot chick. It's just a crazy phenomenon to me. Is it not crazy to anyone else that you could have the most romantic, beautiful night of your life and then never speak to the person again? Uh, I know what that means. She's a runner. She's a track star. I've heard that one. And then we have gurus on here normalizing not caring. Like, this is an actual... You definitely shouldn't care. Women have said they don't want you to care. Nice guys finish last. So why would you do that? Women have said that. So why would you care? issue i have older generations asking me wow how do you do it and i simply tell them i don't i don't at this point he has to drop from literally god himself literally the universe has to just drop him and i would still have zero expectations i kind of miss having expectations i kind of miss being excited like i love it just tells me she's been ran a lot of mileage when the excitement's not there it's like you got to realize where it's like that dopamine effect once you it's like a drug right once you start doing a drug a lot you start building up a tolerance to it it's just like sleeping around you start sleeping around a lot and it loses its allure and then before you know it the next guy doesn't get you as excited and the next guy next guy doesn't get you as, as excited so what this tells me is this girl's gone through a lot of trauma she's had a lot of mileage therefore the next guy's not as exciting but the what's so crazy to me What's absolutely maddening to me is she wants the next guy to be more exciting than the last, even though she doesn't qualify for a man of higher value. She actually qualifies for a guy of lower value. The more mileage you have, the lower your value should be. But a lot of these women, they get older, they have more experience, and then they raise their value in the marketplace, which is why they end up dying alone. Being delusional about not being disappointed. Do you guys know why these women are saying that they have low standards? Oh. No, no, they don't have low standards. If these women had low standards, they would be in a relationship because there's a lot of guys out there right now that are single. These women do not have low standards. They have astronomically high standards, which is why they are alone. I was on Instagram Live the other day going back and forth with some people, and the topic of discussion was only men uh, date for love. And this chick goes, I don't believe that. I think women date for love as well. And I was like, okay, would you date a guy that makes less money than you? She said, yes. Okay. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Yes. Weaker than you? Yes. Less confident than you? Yes. Um, shorter than you? Yes. Less, less than you in every regard. She goes, absolutely. Yes. And then I was like, then why are you single? Especially if your standards are that low. And she was crickets. She didn't know what to say. Because I'm like, if your standards are realistically that low, a guy with a hole and a heartbeat and a pulse should be good enough for you. <laughs> but you're still alone. So t something tells me that what you're saying and your actions don't align. If your standards are that low, you should have three boyfriends. A guy that's short, broke, ugly, stupid, you know what I mean? All of it. You should, the, the worst of the worst guys you should be dating. You could go pick up a homeless guy and have a boyfriend tonight. But for some reason, hmm, it seems like what you're saying doesn't line up with your actions. Stupid. But that's the funny thing to me is that these women really do be thinking that, you know, women are romantics. But I think I think men are the only true romantics because a man would date a woman on fries at Burger King, but a woman would not even entertain a man on fries at Burger King. They just like don't even think twice about being excited about a man. I have so many crazy dating stories that. She's a runner. She's a track star. Crazy dating stories. Yikes. They just ain't adding up. Just ain't adding up. Okay, hear me out. I know I don't look like much, and I know I'm wearing a Tommy Pickles t-shirt. Hey, I, I'm not going to cut that shirt goes hard. Just, just ignore that. Um, so if anyone out there is looking for a trad wife, 
Like you want a wife to work off the lands and garden from scratch and cook every meal from scratch and like have fresh bread in the mornings and just tend to the beehives and the chicken coops. Like, but do you qualify? Do you have those skill sets is, is my thing. A lot of these women, they want to do that. And in theory, it sounds good. Every girl wants to be a little house on the, you know, a little Annie on the prairie, but she's got the little eye, you know, the little fake eyelashes here, which tells me you're not traditional. I'm just telling right now, a lot of you women, you go out there and nobody told you how to cook and clean, but no, also nobody taught you how to suck dick, but you sure did figure it out. <laughs> so ladies, if you really do want to procure a man, um, the great way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So if you can cook a good meal, make him feel at home, rub his feet and give him some peace and quiet, I almost bet you can procure a boyfriend obvious that look the eyelashes are completely detached here yeah like dude I don't, I don't i don't know i don't think that she's not giving me like traditional woman vibes a traditional woman probably wouldn't be on social media a traditional woman would probably be attending places where more traditional men attend maybe going to church maybe going to church gatherings, you know, more conservative things, but she's on TikTok crying in a big t-shirt thinking that a man's going to come out here and be her hero. I can be your hero baby. You keep it a buck, honey. It just doesn't seem like a lot of guys are chasing mid women like this. Like, I mean, she, it's okay. She looks like if earthworm Jim had a cousin, Shots fired. like she looks okay. But like, I, I'm not bragging to my homeboys that I got her in my DMs. Like, you know what I mean? Why the long face? They're gonna ask. I just... These women have such high expectations when they're so mid. They're so mid. Like, this chick is talking about, I can be a trad wife. What makes you think you qualify for a traditional man? A man that's willing to provide for you, protect you, and do all the things that you really want him to do and sp step up and be masculine. What really makes you think that you actually qualify for this caliber of man? I think this caliber of man, he should get the best of the best. I'm right here. <laughs> this is my application. I'm a great cook. I'm a good cook. Like, I I got you. Don't worry about it. Stupid. I will say, go, though, guys, this is the first time. Hey, if she can cook, I'm cool with that. And most girls don't even lead with that. Most girls lead with, you know, sex. I can globble on it. I can get the glizzy. <laughs> I can do tricks on it. I can do a 360 backflip to a hat trick on it. I know how to please a man in the bedroom and the sheets. So, like, good good on her for at least, you know, not leading with uh, that. Yeah, I got I to gotta give her kudos. Um, but at the same time, cooking is not everything. Cooking is great. Cleaning is good. Being inspirational as a woman. Knowing how to uplift a man. Make a man have a good day when he's had a bad day. Those are a lot of things that, you know, men would really like to expect from a woman that's traditional from scratch if you're the type of guy that likes to go hunting so we can stock our freezer and this and that i can process a deer whoa i can process a deer i am not That's afraid of it i was an autopsy tech in my past life i am not afraid of blood i'm not afraid of anything like that i got you we got this i could probably take care of the chickens if you want to roast a chicken got you i like kids I will have your kids. I don't want like 12 of them. I'm not that type of trad wife, but if you want like a couple of kids. I, I think 12 is a little aggressive, but a couple kids is fine. I got you. I don't know. You see, I'm taking back what I said. This woman is winning me over. Guys, at least she's listing things that men care about. Yeah, like she she is at least hitting the big talking points that us men actually give a darn about. Like, hey, good on her. You know what I mean? Take back everything that I said. This girl deserves to have a man. But the thing is, is the re there's got to be a bigger reason of why she's alone. It can't just be that she's all hunky dory and great, and there's just no guys around. I got you. How am I doing? <laughs> May I entice you with my hunting property that's right across the street, and my log cabin in the middle of the woods in northern Michigan. <laughs> My options up here are people without teeth and the Amish. Okay, there's your problem. You move to an area where there's not a lot of suitable men. Go to the city and then move out to northern Michigan. You can't live out in the boonies and expect to find a good man. 
There's not probably a lot of those those guys that are out there that are probably already in relationships. You got to go to a Metroplex or something. Anyway, if you if you, if you're looking for something like that, I'm uh, single. You know, I hope she found and a man. Hardworking and desperate. <laughs> You know, guys. The thing is, I've seen this. This isn't the first time I've seen stuff like this happen either. But this is the problem with what women do at this age. They go and they buy their first property. They go and live by themselves. They become so independent that no man can even find them. This story right here resonates probably with a lot of other women. I can think of one off the top. Um, one of Cass's good friends lives alone, lives out in the country thinks there's no suitable men, but are also she has really unrealistic standards, but at the end of the day, she's isolated herself. There's a lot of things I think you should do in a relationship for the first time with someone. Those things include marrying someone, right? Having their child. I think you should be married. I think that should be a first for a married couple. Also getting your first dog. Also getting your first house. Buying your first vehicle together as a family. There's, there's just certain things that I think you should do because it makes it it makes it mean more when you're doing it for the first time with somebody that you're in love with or that you're married to. But a lot of these women, they go out there and they become hyper independent. And then another guy's like, what am I going to do? Just come out to Northern Michigan and move into your place, which is cool. But is a guy that's willing to do that going to be the caliber of man that you want? Probably not. So you're separating yourself from a lot of suitable men by going out there and being hyper independent. So ladies, what I urge you to do, go move out into the city for a little bit. Maybe don't be a city girl and get ran through, you know what I'm saying? But like, she's a runner, she's a track star. Go out there and try to find a for real relationship. And then when you get a little bit older, then go out to Northern Michigan, buy a cabin and do your thing. But until then, you're going to have to go where the suitable men are. You can't isolate and then complain about being isolated. You got what you asked for. I don't get it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I really appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.